Hello viewers, I am Dr. Sumit Bakshi. In this video, I will demonstrate systematic random sampling. As the name suggests, samples drawn randomly, but there is some fixed system to draw sample. That's why it is called systematic random sampling. In systematic random sampling, we use a systematic interval to draw sample from the population. Before moving ahead, let's discuss when it is used. Systematic random sampling is used when units or individuals are uniformly distributed and there is no fixed pattern in the population. Also, population need to be homogeneous for systematic random sampling. If the population is heterogeneous, if the uh, characteristics of the individuals in the population vary too much, then we cannot use systematic random sampling. For systematic random sampling, we need to find a term K, which is systematic sampling interval. For that, we use formula systematic sampling interval is equal to population size divided by sample size, which is capital N divided by small n. Now, here I have population of 20 individuals. That means my capital N is 20. And I want to draw a sample of, let's say, 4. So my small n is 4 here. That comes, k comes 5. That means that systematic sampling interval is 5. I can start from any individual. I can start from first individual. I can start from second individual. I can even start from fifth individual. By giving the fixed periodic interval 5, I need to go ahead. Let's mark second individual as my first sample. This is my first sample second individual now giving the fixed periodic interval which is 5 i'll choose my next sample so next is 1 2 3 4 5 this would be my sample again this would be my sample uh, with the fixed interval of 5 and again this would be my sample this way i need to select sample out of the population so using this systematic sampling interval, which is K, but I can start from any random number initially. I can start even from first individual, but the gap will be 5. That would be fixed. In systematic random sampling, we come across many drawbacks which we need to be taken care of. Every subject does not have equal probability of being selected. As we are using fixed interval, this third member, fourth member, fifth member, sixth member does not have the same probability of being selected. It can produce skewed results if there exists some pattern. If in our population there is some pattern, after every fixed interval we have same kind of member, then, uh, then our selection will be skewed, our sample will be skewed. Also, in this, uh, there is less randomness in comparison to simple random sampling. Although we choose sample randomly, but due to we are using fixed interval, that randomness is less in comparison to simple random sampling. There are many advantages also. In systematic random sampling, there is less chance to manipulate data by the researcher because we are using fixed periodic interval. So, a researcher cannot manipulate data by himself or herself. It is easy to use in comparison to simple random sampling for large population, which is uh, simple random sampling is difficult for the large population. Simple process in comparison to simple random sampling, it is also cost effective in comparison to simple random sampling.